if you can be a Christian, you're probably a very selfish person because you're consumed and validated by God's blessings in your life. You either up under a rock or you fucking selfish. This kid's getting beaten to death, mangled up, tortured, sexually traumatized, and all you can do is give glory to God while you turn a blind eye to that shit. If you had true empathy and compassion, you would know that this world is fucked. You would know that it's people suffering, but you wrapped up in yourself and your stupid God. Andrew Womack is a fucking selfish person. Pastors are selfish people. They on that spectrum. Now, teachers, they not on there. Police officers, not either. Although a lot of them are psychos. But I think pastors are psychopaths. <clears throat> or sociopaths. They're sociopathic. They want to run people. They, they want to be a little god. Because... I mean, how long I'm going to run off the, the, the word of God? My innards don't look like that Bible. You want me to eat the Bible? It's somebody probably that ate the damn Bible because they that hungry. Like, just you just let your imagination run wild. Like, it's going on here. Somebody done took a turkey sandwich from a child. Somebody done shoved a pickle up a child's ass. Somebody done fucking... Then fucking denied a child of some <clears throat> dick, and the child won't it. And it's just stupid. Like just, just, just. It's people who 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 will make you triggered over a grain of sand. Somebody then trigger somebody over a grain of sand. It just get this ridiculous here. It's sad. It's just sad. It ain't no low human won't go. What was I saying? And that's what I'm saying. Like, these Christians, they selfish. If you have a an ounce of empathy, you would be an atheist. Christians lack empathy. <clears throat> Christians lack empathy. They're sociopaths. Just an ounce of empathy. If you watch the news just one time, you be an atheist. If you're a Christian, you're selfish. This guy picked favorites. And and if he, even if I was favored by him, I would still reject him because I, I have love. And I feel people's pain. There should be no pain here. <clears throat> if Jesus was really real. And then the Christians, like, I'll never forget when I said that shit. It's pastors who couldn't get through the shit Grammy got through. She confused. She confusing God's will with her own will. She confusing God's faith and grace with her own faith and grace for herself. She got through life on her own merit and her own intellect, her own will and drive to succeed. Because somebody on the outside will say, God didn't, didn't curse your ass. You Job. You cry out to him for help and you think that's comfort because he sent a calm spirit to you when he could just heal your back, regenerate a bone. He can do the impossible. Then motherfucker said, I can do all things through Christ. All things. What are all things? You can do it all. To me, that means anything. She could have regenerated her disc. You can have tumors with teeth and hair in them. I mean, that's bones. You can you can grow your spine back. He didn't do that for her, and he didn't give her the wisdom on how to do it. And that's what trips me the fuck out. Won't even give me the, the keys to do it for myself. I'm not asking you for shit. I don't, I don't got no handouts. I ain't got my hand out like that. You don't even tell me how to do it for myself. <clears throat> what a selfish piece of shit. This is boy he uh Taylor. I think he I think his faith ain't very strong. 
Every day he betraying himself. He running himself crazy. That boy look insane. He need to be an atheist again. He 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 ain't happy. He not happy. If he got an ounce of empathy, he couldn't be. I'm sure he's got questions. Question. Shit. He's got questions because God didn't answer them. Now, why he didn't answer them? Now, so you just justifying shit. See, logic and reasoning is important. That's illogical to believe in a guy who can't answer why he letting people suffer. And then and then the answer is probably going to sound like a justification for the suffering. A justification is merely a dismissal of the pain that the person is feeling and a validation that is necessary despite the pain that's literally killing the person. How you fucking how you fucking trying to give life and take it at the same time. <clears throat> That's not a life. You still taking you still taking it. So really it's nothing now. It's just ridiculous. Everybody's a nothing. Cause he taking people life. I don't care if you're giving life, you still taking it. So you're not giving it. And as you give it, you're not taking it. It's just nothing. It's not neutrality. It's just obsoleteness. It's just nothing now. You're a nothing God. You're a bully. You're going to let Brianna be stir crazy and sound like a poor, defeated child. And you still didn't talk to her in her head. And now she's going to torture me for the rest of her wrathful days. Till she decides that she want to do something else. Which I don't know when that's going to be. I don't have three years of this shit, Lord. I don't have no extra three years. She's going to fuck around and kill me. Har- harvest my soul. But I just slipped through the cracks. That's what happens. That's what happens. My head wasn't on straight. I was sick with a yeast infection all the time. I would have I would have had my guards up. Would have told her ass, no, I'm mean. I'm a mean bitch. I'm a bitch. And I like it. No, you can't talk to me. There's just certain principles. There's certain principles. And when you violate them, it just... It just... It's just sad. This world's full of bullies. My sister couldn't even ride the bus because she's too frail and little to defend herself against a bully. I know that's why she couldn't ride the bus. I know that's why mom wasn't okay with that. Why does she have to be a runt? If she rode the bus, I wouldn't have never need to go out to McClellan ever again. I graduate. What the fuck am I doing there again? Bullies. It's sad. A person that I don't even know right now has caused me to be in this house all by myself suffering because they want to fucking fuck with somebody. This is sad. I need to be more detailed. So y'all know I met this dude. He raped me and gave me a disease. It happened because I was picking my sister up Previously, he had been sexually harassing me when I was a senior in high school. He was very cute. I was tempted. I already had a boyfriend, though. He was really cute, and he was short, just like I like. And I like short men because my dad is tall, and he would torture me. So I just started liking short guys. He was everything I could ever wanted in a man. But he was a whore. But I was still tempted. Luckily, I was in a relationship, and I, I stayed monogamous. But I slipped through the cracks because I had to go with my mom to pick up my sister who could have just rolled the bus like I did. And he was there. And he came up to the car and I just broke down. I went on and accepted that he wanted me and I had sex with him and got sick, very violently sick, violently ill. 
and I ended up very vulnerable with a yeast infection that would not go away. Just constantly itching and stinking all day. Smelling like beer. With And then that's when I met Brianna, the witch that tortures me in my head now. <sighs> I couldn't tell her no because I needed help. I needed a friend. I needed support. And she took advantage of that. She took advantage of me. All because of bullies. I was bullied in middle school. If this world didn't have bullies in them, my sister wouldn't wouldn't have had, would have been able to ride the bus. She's very skinny and short and docile because my dad was a bully. She probably could have been a fighter, but my dad honkered her down too. So really, it's my dad's fault. Because there's some skinny motherfuckers that can fight. Pacquiao kind of small, but that motherfucker, I mean, I hear about him. Shit, I don't, I'm not into that shit, but I didn't heard about him. He must be something to deal with. So really, this is all my dad's fault. And what does he do? He just, he rejects me at every turn. Like, it's literally his fault. I'm here in the house with him. But you reap is what you sow. I hate I have to be the damn seed that you sowed. It's literally his fault. Ain't no bully. Can't no bully fuck with nobody. I mean, they're real. They're real. And they will try you whether you bowed it or not. But it was dad. My dad did this to me. I'm a slave to him. I'm a slave to my father. He did this to me through my sister. He didn't break me, but he must have broke her. He trying to break me still. I'm in hell, y'all. This is sad. I appreciate the little views I got for my Whitney Houston song. That was dope. I wish it had went viral. I consider it viral. It was a thousand views in over twenty four hours. That was that was cool. But um, yeah, my life is pitiful. I'm sick of it. I want to kill myself. I know how to. But yeah.